Hello all, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to give you a hardware review. Now the piece of hardware in question is the Wasp Nano RTA. Quite sexy looking thing, especially on top of that detonator. So we'll do all the usual guys. We we'll go down, down to the table, up close, personal, come back up top and have a talk about it pros cons what i thought i what i think of it and all that sort of business yeah so without further ado let's go down to the table and have a look at it guys see you there okay then so here we have the wasp nano rta close up Nice little package in there. This product contains nicotine. No, it fucking doesn't. You look on the side there. Social media links. Website at the top. You've got the scratch and sniff. At the bottom, it tells you what it includes. It includes the RTA itself, spare kit, organic cotton, and a spare glass. On the back, basically, Umie's address. Won't make you pregnant. Over 18s, Church of England. Don't uh, throw it in a bin. And it's recyclable. Take it out of the sleeve. You'll notice if you're uh, familiar with the Wasp Nano RDA. Similar look. Honeycomb background. Very nice packaging. And that's it. And the back lovely stuff so let's take a look inside and it's hard as fuck unless you've got nails to get it out there you go lovely little rta there spare glass the rta itself look at that very very nice indeed put that to one side for the moment as i say you've got spare glass there bag of cotton you've got your screwdrivers well screwdriver you've got a coil spare screws and spare o-rings and then you've got the wasp nano user manual and this is a nano fucking user manual as well as you can see there four different colors you've got the black rainbow Stainless steel and the gold. It's basically giving you the dimensions and what have you. I think it's in Chinese or whatever first. But there you go. Very nice indeed. So we'll have a look at the RTA itself. Um, adjustable airflow on one side. And the other adjust on one side. You adjust it exactly the same on the other you look at the bottom there it tells you wasp nano church of england don't throw it in a bin made by umia umiavip.com one thing i will note is be very careful because you can lose your bottom adjustable ring it comes straight off <clears throat> all right adjust take the top cap off Obviously, it's a proprietary cap and drip tip all in one. And you've got plastic screws there. Or plastic threads. O-ring inside there in the top cap. Take the tank apart. I know we're in the UK, or I'm in the UK, and you've got... 2 mil capacity but it's 2 mil capacity worldwide unfortunately because you're filling it up every two minutes take the glass off you look inside the chimney there is really really small if you look at the um, threads in there they're half decent they are a little bit crunchy when you thread it onto the deck so not perfect there. See if I can adjust that lighting 
a little bit. Bring that over and down maybe a bit better, maybe not. Anyway, O-ring at the top there. Juice fill pot holes, well, kidney holes at the top, either side. Decent size for the size of the RTA, to be quite honest. It's not bloody brilliant, but you've only got a small RTA anyway. That's that. And you look at the deck, it's very, quite well, say very, it's quite similar to the RDA. Obviously, you've got your wicking slots here at either side. Very, very easy to coil and to wick. So let's get the, this on here. And let's get a build in it for you. So move the camera up slightly. Can see the screws at the top flat head so I've got a two mil in a diameter coil here um, I've had a three mil in there but it restricts it slightly two seconds as I say very very easily easy to put your coil in no measuring leg lengths or anything like that center that out Clip the ends away, get to as close as you can towards the deck. Otherwise, you might have a short bite touching the deck if you've got anything protruding there. Exactly the same on the other side. There you go. Absolutely perfect. Get that, put it on a mod. Put that on here. It looks a bit silly on this massive mod, but there you go. go perfect all right here we go you can get your cotton in it might be a bit too warm just yet Right, put the cotton in. Oh, 
obviously you don't need loads where's my scissors right. now I've been cutting it if you can just see the the silver ring round there I get it there snip same the other side Snip it away, thin the cotton out either side slightly, and again, give it a trim, now you'll want the cotton to go into obviously the little crevice that it's got the best way to do this is put e-liquid on and probably could do with taking a little bit more off there and again in there and in there just get some e-liquid, put a bit of e-liquid on there and it'll fall right into place. There you go. In there, probably could have done with a bit more e liquid on this one, but in there, probably do with a little bit more off the ends on this one. But that is ultra fine, there, not a problem at all. So, as you can see, wick both sides, nice coil placement right in the center there. top back on e-liquid in and vapor away as I say it's a tiny tiny RTA the size it's it's 23 millimeter diameter 35 mil high obviously only a, it's a tiny 2 mil juice capacity yeah um, very easy deck to build on as you can see there it, it, it's so simple it's it's unbelievably easy to do yeah so that's it it was a quick look at the wasp nano rta let's go back up top and then i'll give you my thoughts pros cons and all that sort of business see you up there guys so there we have the wasp nano RTA. What are my thoughts? It's okay. It's not bad at all. Uh, cons. Start off with the cons. Drip tip. Now you have to use their drip tip and their drip tip only. You can't put anything of your own on there. Um, also, there's a potential that you could knack up the the threads. With obviously the threads being plastic going into metal, you've got to be very careful that you don't cross thread it and bugger the threads up. Um, that's a con for me. Um, two mil capacity. Yeah, I can see what they're doing. Two mil capacity will throw out a two mil capacity across the world and Europe, blah, blah, blah. And we don't have to piss about then doing two separate tanks. Um, two mil it spoils it a bit for me because the two mil capacity you sit down you're doing what you're doing you're having a vape you're enjoying your vape and then all of a sudden it's like fuck i've got to fill it up again you know it is a pain in the ass um you get going on this this rta you get 
starting enjoying it and you're like fucking fill it up again i mean yeah people say people can say well you drip with dripper all the time well this isn't a dripper this is a tank you get a tank for the sole purpose of you fill your tank up and you vapor away now it is a con for me and it's not a coin for me con for me you know it's one of them um, apparently you can get a bubble glass for it and people are saying it fits the iJoy Captain Bubble Glass. Now, I got the iJoy Captain uh, Bubble Glass on here. Cracked. So that didn't fit. Didn't work for me. If anybody um, has got a workaround or what fits on there to make it larger capacity, let me know down in the comments, yeah? Um, because I would love this to come with a bigger capacity. Um, plus points. Looks nice. It looks nice, small, stealthy. Oh, why I remember. 23 mil diameter. Um, it's neither here nor there, really. I'd have liked to have seen it either a 22 or a 24. That's just that's just my own personal opinion. 23 millimeter it is. Bugger all we can do about it. Anyway, plus points, as I was saying. Looks nice. It's a nice looking RTA. Can't take that away from it. It looks lovely. I mean, I've got it sitting here on top of the detonator. It looks really, really nice. Now, the flavour. I was expecting better flavour from it than what I'm getting or what I got um, through my time of testing. Now, I was expecting, because of the small compactness of it, the small footprint, I was expecting something like, wow, that's awesome. For me, it's not. Um, on a flavour scale, I will give it about a 7.5 out of 10. I've got the gear RTA, and it's not, for me, it's not as good as the gear RTA. It's not. For me, the gear is is better. I've tried it with different e-liquids, different. I've tried it with fruit flavours, custard dessert flavours, and for me, it's just not. What it should be or could be. 7.5 out of 10. Still not bad at all. You get a decent vape from it. It's very, it, it's good flavour. Yeah. It's certainly not bad flavour at all. Um, another pro for it. Build deck. Super, super easy to use. Single coil. Bang your coils in there. Um, put your cotton in. As you, as you saw down at the table. No problem at all. Put in your coil in and wicking it up super super easy and that is about it as i said the flavor isn't as good as what i thought it would be i was expecting something something to give me that wow that's that, the flavor from this is awesome good flavor don't get me wrong but it's not fantastic it's not superb flavor you know seven and a half out of ten like i say not bad at all but not as good as what i thought it was going to be unfortunately so that's it from me guys please like and share really appreciate it if you could if you haven't already hit that subscription button down below notification bell for future uploads updates and all that sort of business if you aren't already pop over on facebook to my facebook group niche vape i quite often put on there competitions and different bits and bobs like that um also we have a bit a bit of banter now and again yeah not always but now and again you know um as well guys as always wherever you are whatever you're doing have a cracking day out there guys wherever you are day night whatever enjoy yourselves yeah thank you for watching and I'll catch you again later. Bye-bye.